Students living in Portland have three options when it comes to public education for high school students. Portland High, Deering High, and Casco Bay. Now, there's a lottery to get into Casco Bay, and students have free choice between Portland and Deering. But right now, school officials say that system isn't working. That's why in just a few hours, the Portland School Committee will vote on a new method for school choice. This new proposal, if approved, is meant to fix enrollment gaps between Portland and Deering High Schools. Casco Bay High School, however, will remain in a lottery system. New Center Maine's Jack Mulmond is following the vote and joins us live with more. Jack? Pat and Amanda, like you said, I am here outside Casco Bay High School, where in about an hour, parents and community mem members will turn out to voice their support or lack thereof of an initiative that's been on the works here with the district for the last few months. For the last four decades, students have had free choice between Deering and Portland, but the, the school district says that Portland has been attracting higher enrollment and has been less diverse, where Deering High, on the other hand, has become more diverse with fewer students. The district says the proposal hopes to limit the gap in enrollment by no more than 30 students. It would also shuffle students who don't get accepted into Casco Bay High School and place them into Portland or Deering, depending on their diversity factors. The district says these diversity factors include students who know multiple languages or students who are unhoused. Parents poured into the last school board meeting earlier this month. Many of them say it's unfair to students who don't have those diversity factors who want to go to Portland High School. Here is a, here is a former teacher speaking earlier this month. One of the worst experiences I ever had was when an incoming freshman would say in some sort of conversation, well, I wanted to go to Casco Bay, but I didn't get in. And now I'm hearing that we're going to go even further after all of these years of high school choice is amazing, high school choice is amazing. And is it even mathematically possible now that we could have a student have to do their third choice of high school, depending on how things shake out? So the school district uh, says that in their presentation that over the last five years, statistically, those students with those diversity factors, 80% of them are students of color. The district also says that if they vote through this proposal tonight, we should see eighth graders going into freshman year next year see this proposal take effect. Jack Mulmid live in Portland tonight. Thank you, Jack.